Good afternoon, and welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Ian. I'm Lauren. This is the bar class specializing in body weight squats or plies for mobility and upper body strength with the kettlebell. And Lauren here to guide us through that foot warm up. Grab a bar or that balance aid at your side, and together, let's have fun and Get be started. flexible and strong. And Fill before I say blank. anything else, let's do it again. Standing on top of your feet. Good place for you. Grip the toes by spreading them out. And now feel the connection between the ball of feet. Lightly grip so you pull those arches up. And in turn, you might feel like you're screwing your legs into your feet and squeezing your cheeks as well. Think about where your rib cage is. Are you square to the front of the room? And that cage lightly over top of your hips. Now with everything nice and tight, we're going to bend a knee to the front. Nothing changes. Then double up and come on down. Let's march through that two more times. Knee bends, ankles in line with that knee and down. This time we'll add that knee bend. So we'll land on a straight leg and then we'll lightly tip the hips back as we sit into that single leg squat. We'll press the hips through, double up, control the down. Knee towards over toe, lightly tip the tailbone back. Double up one more time each side here. Knee towards over toe, good. Press to tall. And last one, as you're pressing that knee towards over toe, try to relax the front of that ankle, leaving more room for the knee to go forward. We'll go double up. We'll hold a light balance. Then stay on that rise, but add a little bit of a knee bend. Could you slowly descend, keeping the heels high off the floor and the knees tight to the front of the room? When you get as low as you can go, I'd like you to press all the way back up to tall, 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 and then control the descent. Let's repeat those same drills, but from that first position. So take a leg forward, rotate it open from the hip, bring it underneath you. Rotate a leg, bring a leg forward, rotate it, bring it underneath you. Same thing. Knee bends, toes and balls stay connected to the foot. Push down, up, switch sides. We're trying to keep that bowl of punch, which is your hips nice and level here. Again, the ribs over top with that light ab brace, but you're able to talk and breathe. We'll go up this time to switch, land on the straight leg, then gently bend the knees, creating that diamond-like shape. Extend, up, switch sides. Knee towards over toe bends. Extend, squeeze the cheek, double up. One last time on each side here. Breathing, double up. Last one, knee towards over toe. And then press and press up. Just as we did with those parallel legs, could we bend the knees getting as low as we can? Keep the heels off the floor. Keep the diamond shape as best you can. Then push down, press back up to tall. Straight, 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 straight. And then control the heels towards the floor. Ooh. Unrotate your legs, shaking them out. Who is right. Let's work ourselves to the floor and get warmed up more in the core. With our arms in that T-Rex or across the chest position, chin tucked, we're going to forward fold, which means we'll start at the head and neck. Our necks will slowly, will slowly flex. Then we're thinking about that rib cage flexing. As we do that, try to re-pull those shoulder blades together to really try to flex through the spine. Shift your weight a little bit into the forefoot to keep those hips extended as we fold over top of them. Once we're fully folded, then we can dangle here. We can bend one knee and straighten, bend one knee and straighten, breathe, no rules for a couple seconds, and then we'll walk ourselves right out into our plank position. Our plank positions, our hands under our shoulders, our hips tucked, our cheeks squeezed, and our abs braced. We're breathing underneath. Everything's tight. This is the position you're going to press out of, but you'll be standing. So feel that connection for five, four, and that tension, three, two, knees down. Take a second off. Let's do a little leg hip stretch from the floor and we'll come back to our plank position. Awesome. For today's leg hip stretch from the floor, let's get into a tall kneeling position and then transfer into more of a lunging position. Then toe, ball, heel, that leg out front, slowly extending the front leg. Now let's hinge on the hips, meaning press your butt to the back of the room. And from here, bend the front knee. You might get on your fingertips for a little bit of assistance. And then pull yourself into a cow position with the back and straighten that front leg. 
Repeat again as we'll pull ourselves towards forward, either fingertips or knuckles we'll do in the front. And then same thing, pull that leg into the hip socket to straighten. Maybe you can wiggle that leg forward with a bent knee and gently for one last time, straighten that front leg and then bend that front leg and squeeze your back butt cheek. Pull in, keep your spine nice and long, emphasizing the straight leg in the back. Then maybe last time out front, squeeze your back butt cheek. And then if it's fun, try to find yourself into your split. But take your time and pull yourself in, nice Lauren, and out of that position, and just reset in a tall kneel once you're done. Enjoy that though. If that's enjoyable, let's do it again. If that's crazy, maybe just watch for the next time. So you have a single leg in front as a lunge. Then grab the floor and just wiggle that foot forward to slowly straighten the knee. Hinge on the hips, meaning cow hips, hands to floor. And again, straighten the back knee with a butt cheek and then straighten the front leg by pulling that long femur bone into the hip. Repeat again. The back leg is straightening out with a butt cheek squeeze. The front leg is bending. And then we'll straighten that leg out one more time. Now with a soft bent knee in the front, maybe you could heel toe that a little further forward. And for two more repetitions, we'll straighten the front leg, pulling into the hip socket, then push your back hip forward with that nice hip extension in mind. And for the last one, a straight front leg, and then maybe slide that back leg out of the way. And then if you get low, make sure you can still breathe. And then very calmly, just pull yourself out of that back to two knees, push through. And I'm sure Lauren might have one more core exercise to do before we stand up. Excellent. Get yourself out of that position and we'll make our way back to that plank tension hold again. So hands are under shoulders, toes are tucked, hips are lifted. Squeeze the cheeks, brace the abs and hold and breathe. This time, without moving, think about pulling your right hand to your left hip and your left hand to your right hip, creating that cross-body tension or that X-man feeling for five, four, three, two hips lift. Because we stretched out those hammies, let's leave those hands flat on the floor and walk our feet towards our hands. Breathing, bracing, we're back to that forward fold position and then we'll tuck our chin We'll use our muscles on the front and the back of the spine to pull ourselves all the way up to tall. Let's hold that kettlebell in the rack position just to get used to it. And then we'll come back to our first round of presses after our first set of bar exercises here. So we're over top of your bell or your weighted object. We'll pick it up and get ready in the rack position. Here we go, it's a hip hinge, a one, two grip, a pull through punch, hold. As usual, we check in with everything, which is feet gripping. Pushing down and out on the floor, maintaining that hip extension. Bracing your abs, ribs down. Nice vertical forearm and straight wrist. Pretend to press this kettlebell, keeping the shoulder low. And then two hands on. Place it down. Stand up without. Same thing, second side. Hip hinge. Grip. Pull. Punch through. Again, vertical forearm. Wrist straight and strong. Ribs down. Push down and out on the floor. Feel that connection, feel that tension like you were in your plank for three, two, place bell down safely and get ready for our first set of presses after the bar. Lauren warmed up those nice demi points being balls of feet and those squats. Let's put that together again in some nice weight transfers. So let's work from that first position, heels together, find that nice turnout from the hip. One hand on the bar, the other hand on a hip or out in space, wherever you like. We'll do our knee bend over toe. Then let's point that leg out front, landing toes, balls, heel, and then push off the back leg and finish with a toe point there as well. Return that leg forward, heels connect. Then the leg that just came forward, let's reach it to the back, landing toes, balls of feet, and heel, and push forward, returning the heels back together. Repeat to the side. We'll start with our squat and reach it out to the side. Push towards the bar to move away from the bar, fully connecting those heels together, and then reach, landing toe ball heel, and I'll push towards Lauren to move back towards my bar. Heels connect. Same thing, knees bend, reach to the back this time, land toe ball heel, now push forward, and then fully connect those heels back together in that first position, and then to the front, land toe ball heel, point off the back, 
and then fully connect the heels together. Let's just get into our first balance here. We're going to pull up to that ankle or coup de pied position. The hips are forward. The ribs are over the hips yet again. And just hold for time. And then return to the ground, finishing tall. And then again, the little shake and wiggle. We'll switch sides, repeating. Weight transfers front, side, and back, and then a balance. It's a knee bend over toe or that first position squat. And then we'll reach forward, toe ball heel. Push out the back and connect the heels together. Then reach that leg out the back again, land toe ball heel, point forward, return the heels. Sit squat, reach the leg to that side or second, and I'll push to the bar to move away from the bar, connecting heels, and then reach towards the bar, and this time I'll push towards Lauren to move back to my first. A sit squat, diamond shapes, reach back, toe ball heel, push forward, hips still go forward as the legs go back, and then the leg reaches, we land toe ball heel, gentle flick of the foot out the back and return to the first position. And then from there, it's the balance. The knee is to the side, the other standing leg is straight, glutes engaged, ribs down, toes point, finish back in that first position, shake wiggle, we'll be back for more, but first the press. All right, this week it's threes and fives and threes and fives and to be determined. So stay tuned for that fifth set right now. It's set number one, three presses. Hip hinge, grip bell, pull to rack. Brace ab, squeeze cheek, press bell overhead. Inhale, pull down. Up, press bell overhead. Inhale, pull down one last time. Up, overhead, pull down. Two hands on, place it down. Stand up, little shake out. Repeat on the other side. Hip hinge, grip, pull to rack. One, we have tension in the legs, tension in the abs, that off arm's helping us, as well as that breath. For our last press here today, we'll pull the bell down, return it through a hinge to the floor. Stand up, shake it out. Nice. To find the first position earlier, Lauren had us turn in the hip. Let's keep those turns in and outs of the hip going as we explore a Ronde de Jam inspired leg circle. So we're starting in that first position, and then, with a light hand on the bar, take the outside leg and reach it forward in a pointing shape. Now, on the hip, turn in, so the kneecap or the inseam turn into the body, and then turn out, that nice external rotation. Point those toes, straighten the knees, let's do that one more time as we turn in on the hip, and then externally rotate, turning out. Now take the leg from the front towards the side, and if you just gently look down, the toe should be in line with your other foot on the standing leg. I believe we're all turned out, so let's turn in. And as we turn out again, extend the hip, keep it forward as we turn out. We'll turn in one last time and finishing with that nice turn out. Now utilize the turn out shape to the back and then lead the heel forward all the way to the front. Now reverse that in a nice gentle circle as the hips stay forward and the leg goes back, straight knees. We'll initiate the turn out from the back to the side and the side to the front, and then hips forward, heels connect, pull up the leg to find the ankle, and stay on that flat foot if that's challenging enough, or look straight ahead, hold a balance, arms here, arms on the hips or on the bar, and then return back down to a strong first position. Shakes and wiggles and repeat on the other side. Stability, mobility, we want it all. That standing hip is priming the stability so that gesturing leg can move around. We'll tendu or point that leg to the front. We're turned out here, so let's turn in. Keep the standing hip facing forward. Then an external rotation or a turn out. Repeat one more time on a turn in. Then last time on the turn out in the front and utilize that turn out to bring it to the side. We're turned out, so it's time to turn in. And that might cramp those lateral bum cheeks. Make room for that turn out now. We'll turn in, always aiming to make room for those hips and then implementing that turnout and maintaining the turnout now as you reach to the back and then bring the heel leading forward all the way to that point in the front direction. Then the hips go forward, the toes lead us back and the knees are straight, finishing out the back and then turn out from the back to the side and the side to the front, hips forward, toes back, find that ankle position and find your balance. Flat foot, hand bar, hand off, choose your own adventure here. And wherever you get, up with that control piece. 
down with the control piece. And again, give those calves a little bit of a shake to stay nice and fresh for our next set. So as promised, set number two of our presses here today, and we're going to, towards the number five. Our ultimate goal this semester is five by five presses, or maybe more, you never know. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's five presses. Hip hinge, grip that bell, pull it to the rack position. Hup. One, inhale, down. Hup. Two, inhale, down. Hup. Three, abs. Checking, are your cheeks squeezing as you go to press that bell overhead? Are your quads pulling up so you're using all your muscle tension? And then place the bell down and park with control. It might feel like it's just an upper body exercise, but use your whole body on this press. Hip hinge, grip, rack, up to five presses here. I also like to think about driving through that pinky side, trying to get that bell all the way overhead and all the way back to that rack position on each rep. Last one here, pull it down and place it down with control. Stand up all the way and then shake it out. And now we are back at the bar. We're continuing to work from that first position. And this time I'd like to do that leg circle in a more continuous shape while on a bent leg. So let's do our knee bends together so we're in that squat. Now reach that outside leg to the front. Utilize the turnout we just practiced to take it to the side and then to the back. As we stand up now, we'll bring that leg all the way through and repeating it to the toe, the toe point in the front. Now when your heels touch as you return the leg back, now bend that inside leg or the standing leg, keep the leg straight and turn out of the hip from the back to the side and the side to the front and finish nice and tall. Repeating one more time. A knee bend together, the leg out front. Then reach that leg from the front to the side and the side to the back and we'll stand up, bringing the heels together, reaching all the way front forward. Now connect the heels when they touch or similar, bend that standing leg now, and then reach from the back to the side and the side to the front. We'll stand up nice and tall, connect heels, find the ankle balance, and then transition towards the knee or that passe position. The femur, the knee bone, that's going up. The hip, the girdle of that, it's reaching towards the floor. The toes are pointing, we're nice and tall. With control, return to your first position, shaking a wiggle, of course, and switching sides. Those are all my cues. What about you, Lauren? Any additions to that? I'm sure there's a couple. Um, no, I was actually just no? following along. All right, okay. There's lots to think about, we know that. So go through that checklist and gently, again, encourage yourself to add to it. We're tall, we're in our first position. Let's do our knee bend over toe. Take the leg out front. Now we'll stay on that bent leg as we circle the hip from the front to the side and the side to the back. We'll stand up as those heels connect and just reach that single leg to the front. Hips forward, legs back. Bend the knee when those heels touch. Then from the back to the side and the side to the front, standing up again with the heels connecting in first. Sit in that squat again, then reach that outside leg forward out to the side, keep the knee straight, maintain that turnout as allowed, and then stand up tall with the heel coming through, point to the front, straight legs of course, then heels connect, bend that standing leg, reach from the back to the side, the side turns into the front, underneath the hip again, and then pull up the leg to the side. Toes are pointing down, maintaining that turnout or screwing the foot in like Lauren cued us in the warm up. And again, if the leg is high, the hip is sitting nice and low. Return to your first position for our third set of presses. All right, set number three, back to the number three of reps. Great, how is it feeling? Three sounds good. I always want the rep, the last rep to still be successful. So if you need to knock a rep off to keep successfulness, do so. Successfulness, you heard it here. First side, hip hinge, grip to rack, up, three presses, pull down. Up, two and up three bell comes down two hands and parks good as we do the second set i want you to think about that plank here we go hip hinge grip everything's tight up inhale down a little bit of relax everything's tight inhale down and everything's tight good pull bell down 
Park. That tension should help you press that heavier bell nice and smoothly. Whew. Sounds good. Leg core hold time here. That time under tension might make those legs burn, but you'll be rewarded with stability and strength. So let's get into it. Those feet are in our first position, maintaining that nice turned out action on the hip. Let's pull the leg up to the ankle. We could stay right there or bring it up to the side. Now from here, point out to the side. Draw a circle at the knee where that foot would go back towards the knee and then it would straighten out, out to the side. Circling around will bring it back to the knee and then back out front. Now go to the back side of the knee and we'll switching directions and we'll turn out to the front and then one more time to the knee and then back out to the side. Pull back to that knee or passe position, flat footed or lower warm up those demi points or the ball of the feet and hold some nice time under tension up high, use the assistance of the bar where needed and then pull back down with control. Two circles going this way and then the other. As much as I say a circle, it's maybe truly more like the shape of a D. There'll be a flat aspect and circle around in the front and the back direction. So the feet are here in our first position and we'll pull up to the ankle. From there, we'll pull up towards the knee and a nice extension out to the side. Let's bring it to the front of the knee and then extend out to the side. Repeat that again towards the front and then the back. And then we'll bring it in this time first and then circle back out to the side, back into the knee, and then back out to the side. Pull it back to the knee position, that passe. Maintain your turnout, hips forward, ribs down, and with control, try to find that nice demi point rise and hold for time. And then back to those two points and down with control. Set four. Set four. Who wants more? Three, five, right. three, five. We're back to the number five. Let's do five successful reps or one less, two less. It's up to you. Here we go. First side to the rack. Up, one, inhale. Two, abs, but off arm tension. Last one here, as well as breath. And then bell parks with control, stands up between your presses. We'll shake out, loosen that tension, but then gather it back up for the second side to the rack. Overhead one, inhale. Overhead two, inhale down. Hup. Three, drive through the pinky. Brace the abs, squeeze your cheeks, pull bell down, and park with control. Whoo, four sets, there's one left. Excellent, which means there's one more bar set here and then some weight transfers to finish as if it's center. So it's Lauren's favorite slash least favorite exercises here. It's those leg holds in the front, attitude, and then out the back. First position, heels touch, turned out from the hips, active glutes, light hand on the bar, and pull up to the ankle. Then pull up to the knee, and this time hold with that leg out front with a slight leg bend. Challenge yourself, pushing yourself towards the front of the foot, and then back to that knee position. Stay facing forward, but now we're gonna open up that attitude position to the back. Slight knee bend, the toes in line with your center of the line body back there, we all know what that is, and then return it back to that knee position. Repeating out front one more time. Breathe, breathe, breathe. May we be able to find that nice demi point rise while we're there. Maybe even stay on that demi, find your passe position, and then a little bit of a balance there, reach out to the back. Find that passe one last time, then return to those demis, and then back down to the floor with control. Two repetitions, a front, a back, a front, a back, nice and slow. Practice that time under tension to improve your balance and core strength. Feet position or slight turn out feet. Pull up to the ankle. The leg lifts as the hip sits low and we'll reach that leg out front. Light bend in the knee, good call Lauren. Then again, transfer weight to the front leg that really starts to activate the glute. Avoid sitting back, then find that knee position and then reach out the back and hold. Maintain that turnout as allowed. A little bit of a knee extension at the back, but still a soft knee, and then pull it back again. Then the same thing. We'll reach it to the front. If it's allowed, let's find that demi point rise there, 
and hold, keep that nice height of the leg, and then back to that passe, and then back to the rear attitude position, and hold, then back to passe, back to the first position, and shake it out. Set the presses, looking forward to it. Those external hip rotators are burning a fire in my pants. Got it. All right. We are on set number five of our presses. And surprise, we're going to aim for the number five. Again, if that's too many, pick a number that's less than five. Keep it strong. Keep it successful through the last rep. Here we go. First side, hip hinge, grip to rack, five presses. Good. Two, off arm tension. Three, planks just like the beginning. Four, last one. Five, two hands, place the bell down, up without. Did I go faster? Count wrong. No, that was five. Okay, okay. That was five. Whew. Same thing, second side. Hinge grip to rack and hippity hop. One, inhale down. Two, three, four, last one, five. Good. Keep that bell or put it back on the floor. <sighs> Shake it out. Awesome. Or maybe move your bell out of the way if you need that space for some center time. Sounds good. So get those tripping hazards out of the way and we'll finish today with a nice inspired weight transfer. Utilizing those first positions. We didn't really squat in that wide position, but that is where we'll start today. Heels can connect and then open up landing in your wider stance for that second position. Let's pull ourselves one way. One leg will stay straight and the other leg will be bent. Then point through the toes. Just as a pretend idea here, lift that leg out to the side. And if you do, are we lifting, say from the hip or from our back? Not that second one. So we'll land toe ball heel and pull and point. Do a pretend lift, feel that tension in the hips and those legs of course. And if we do lift, the upper body is staying very quiet. Let's return that to the floor and pull, and then point the foot to the other side. Then from there, let's lift it and hold, and then stretch or stand up tall on your standing leg with a straight knee. Now bend that straight knee. We'll grab the floor and feel a pull and complement that with a push action to the side and a toe point and our leg lift and push the hip over the foot that we're standing on. Then we bend that leg, We'll grab the floor again and feel our pull. Finish with a push point and a stretch. And with that leg out to the side, can we find our balance here and hold and hold and breathe and breathe. Land with a straight leg, blend it into a knee bend, pull ourselves across and point. Let's stretch that leg again. And with tension, cramp glutes, pressure pressing down, drilling down to grow up, hold your balance. Land with control, knee bend over toe, and for the final one, let's just try that same balance at the end. Flick or point that toe, stretch that standing leg, reach, keeping the hip over that foot, perhaps lift higher as allowed, land with a straight leg, blend it into a knee bend, pull ourselves across, point the toe, stretch the leg, and get higher, and lift that leg even higher out to the side as allowed. Hold, hold, Straight leg lands, blend the bend of the knee, pull yourself to the second, and for Lauren, let's get low in that squat position and lift up those heels and push those hips through, finishing on a nice rise, and then return. Straight knees, flat feet to the ground, wiggle those back, shake it out. And I would say that's a successful fourth episode of Bars and Bells, presses and plies, specializing in mobility for those hips, and kettlebell strength for a full body workout. Join us Saturday morning where we play with our body weight using our crawls and, all, and eventually progressing towards our handstands or upside down play. On Tuesday, it all starts again with week five back at the kettlebell side of the room. So join us then and anytime thereafter in the archive. Remember to like and subscribe on YouTube with all your email addresses because we're so close to 1,000. Tell your friends, five, tell five, your friends, five. as well as signing up for our newsletter email list via our website. And lastly, our Patreon page. Check it out if you have never. Until next time, take care. Stay strong. And let's train soon. Have a good day. Goodbye.